that's a fish. I was trying to shake him off. I was like, why is, those, why is that grass stuck on there so good? Because it's not grass, it's a bass. That's pretty cool. That fish was in the grass, kind of right on the edge of it, and he ate that little swim bait very, very well. A little mean eye swimmer. There we go. That's something that is a completely new deal for me. I know some of you all may have already fished some of these type of baits, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. But this is, looks like a swim bait. You can fish it like a swim bait. You can fish it on the bottom, you know, like a jig. There's a lot of different things it seems that you can do with it, but it's something I truly wanted to learn a lot about and hopefully can help y'all learn something about it in the process too. But just a, a, a different way, a different presentation, something else that you can show those fish that are out you know, places where we throw a crankbait, where we throw a jig, where we throw a drop shot. A little different look, not your standard swim bait, more of a bluegill imitator that you fish down near the bottom. What we've got here is a, it's actually an underwater island. It's got grass on the top of it, but it's an underwater island. And then it's got multiple little points, kind of we're, we're on the, on the edge of a little point right here. And there's grass that's coming out to probably about 12 feet. There's grass coontail coming out and you got a pretty good edge. And in some places out beyond that coontail is some really good rock. Some places it's just mud, but some stretches of it, like where we're at right here, has got some really good rock out here just beyond the edge of the grass. Those places where you've got that rock grass mix seems to be where most of the bites have came from. I don't know if I feel one hit it right there. I knew I'd put one, hit it on the fall, and I reeled it about three times real fast and just stopped and let it get back down, and that one bit it. That's a, I kind of think of this thing a little bit like the way I fish a bucktail, you know, where I'm gonna reel it three or four times fast, let it swim up, and then kill it and kind of let it swing back to the bottom. That's what I see being a really effective way to, to fish this. You know, I think it just dragging along the bottom will work in some situations, but when it's like this, where it's glass calm, you know, I think a lot of those fish are actually spending a fair amount of their time suspended up off the bottom. So you pull that bait up, they're gonna see it as it falls back down. That's when a lot of your bites are gonna end up coming. Got my rod stuck in the foot pedal there. Yeah, so just taking that little dude, cause it falls pretty quick. I've actually got it on, just on like 10 pound test line. So it's getting down there pretty quick, kind of in that scattered grass. Throw it out, let it sink to the bottom. Three or four cranks, stop, let it fall back down. And on that, on that drop is when most of your bites are gonna come and just kinda, kinda real set into them, you know. There's on the bottom, three or four cranks, raise the rod tip and glide back down. You get it in the grass, just keep reeling and kinda pop it out and let it fall back down. But letting it fall on a semi-slack line, you don't wanna just throw slack at it to where it's gonna try to fall right straight back down. You want it to, you want it to swing much like you do a bucktail because I've never saw a fish do this. Never, <laughs> not any kind, never ever, the fish fall on their nose. What I'm doing right here, I'm just kind of paralleling this grass line. There's a pretty good grass line I'm off of it a little bit right now, but then there's other places where you've got these patches of rock. When I get to those, I'm gonna turn my live out here and see you know, if there's any, any obvious fish out here while making a cast at it. But if I get in there almost parallel, I'm just fishing that whole edge as I go down. Truly just much more fishing, just as you would be, imagine being on a Ozark Lake and you're 45 degree in those banks with a crankbait. Kind of the same deal I'm doing with this little swim bait. Just getting in there and running, you know, right down the edges of that at a, you know, 45 or 60 degree angle to those grass lines. One thing that's neat as well about this for for somebody that's a you know a beginning angler getting into fishing this isn't a deal where you got to buy the whole rig you got to buy a hook and a sinker and a worm and not you know all the other stuff you just buy this one thing open up the package and tie it on and you're good to go because it's all molded in you've got your hook your lead head the bait it's all one ready to go very user-friendly package and then it's so versatile in how you fish it um, and it obviously will generate quite a few bites with it too. So it's a, it's a very, <clears throat> very user-friendly deal. 
and and it's gonna it's durable too i mean it's soft enough that it's gonna it's got the action that you need but it's durable i mean i've caught five or six fish on this thing already this morning and it looks just like it did when i took it out of the package so short of a toothy critter or something trying to tear it up you're going to catch a lot of fish on every single one of these i think one thing that makes just this style of bait efficient for one as well as becoming more and more popular is that you can fish it a number of different ways you can fish it in in sparse cover you can throw it in you know even in some brush piles with the way it's made it's got a little bit of a weed guard kind of molded in you know as that as that top fin that that protects that hook a little bit you know small brush you're not going to flip this in the middle of a lay down or anything but you can throw it around some offshore brush you can you can throw it in some scattered grass that type of stuff you can also drag it along the bottom that the way that's shaped on the bottom even in big rock it's not going to get wedged up a lot like a Texas rig or something, you know, that's real small because of how wide it is across the bottom. It's going to come through that cover really well. So it, it also gives you the option of fishing it a lot of different ways. It being as heavy as it is, it casts really far. It gets to the bottom quick. But you could fish it shallow. You could go up and just wind it around the edge of the grass if you want to. You can fish it out here deep. You can fish it clean bottom or like I said, in places that's got some you know, got some sparse cover as well. So it's just got a lot of, a lot of options. And then it's very natural. I mean, it looks like a fish, you know, that's a, really probably one of the biggest keys to it. And, uh, and that size, that three inch size, but being bulky. So it's, it's big enough that it'll, you know, it'll get the attention of a big fish just because of how bulky it is, but it's not a great big long bait. That's going to make it hard for a, you know, a two pound bass to eat as well. So it's just, just become pretty versatile. And, there's, you, you see that and it's grown in popularity because there's been several companies making, you know, making these style baits now. Being a professional, a lot of people probably look and they're like, man, you've got, you know, every technique under the sun mastered. And I certainly don't. I'll be the first one to tell you that. And today the fish that I caught on this little mean eye swimmer, what you watched me catch, were the first fish that I had ever caught on this style bait period. I've caught fish on a storm wild eye swim shad, different things that are kind of similar, but truly this what I would consider this style bait. Those were the first fish I'd ever caught on it. So that just goes to so, show you that as a professional, I still have stuff to learn. As an angler, you do as well. So it's something that, you know, it's good to go to a place where it's gonna work, number one, a place where you're gonna be successful at the right time of the year. But man, try to learn new techniques. It doesn't matter what, what, uh, what you're comfortable with. Anytime you can put something else in your toolbox as an angler, a new technique, man, it's something that's gonna pay off for you in the long run. So. If you watch me do it today, hopefully you get out there and try it yourself.